Hey folks, this is your host Shanaz and welcome back to Naz It Up. We are so touched by the overwhelming number of messages we have received from people who have watched the first part of this vlog. Like I promised in the previous vlog, presenting before you two super cooks who have inspired me to cook. My mother, the matriarch of our family, she is the center of our existence and today she is cooking banana shoot khar an alkaline based dish which was taught to her by my grandmother my sister is cooking the sunrait bombe duck bamla mas in assamese we have a family history of how we learned to cook this dish watch till the end of the video and you will know the story my niece arisha has also joined us in this video to give you folks an idea preparation for lunch in an assamese household begins very early in the morning we have requested the person who helps the family in the kitchen to peel the banana stem. She is also slitting the guti aloo, seed potatoes. A quick tip, soaking the potatoes in advance helps get rid of the impurities. She is also cutting the dried fish which my sister will be cooking. I am super impressed with her chopping slicing prowess using this traditional cutting instrument called bothi. If you appreciate these traditional methods of cooking we are sharing today don't forget to like the video drop a comment below and share with other food lovers final cleaning of the dried fish bombay duck sun dried out in the open so you need to thoroughly thoroughly clean it mm -hmm. so you want the fish to be as dry as possible yeah okay it will be good for stir frying right yeah, yeah. okay pretty soft Oh, whoa, 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 what oil are you using? Mustard oil. Oh, always okay. use mustard oil. As yeah. these people can't do without mustard oil. Gas is on high. Mustard oil heating up. I want the mustard oil to smoke. Dry fish. Little oil. Okay. Because we soaked it in hot, hot water and it's sun dried fish, so it's already cooked. So right now we're giving it texture and flavor and I can assure you this will be so so delicious. Switched on the chimney because it gets, it gets really smoky. So it's turning red right now. Okay, round two. High heat yeah. and the oil to smoke again. Yeah. Four medium sized onions, that's generous amount of onions and generous amount of chili, as hot as you like. Add before. To soften the onions. Yeah, yeah. soften the onions fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you add the potato. Mm -hmm. First, first time trying dried fish, right? The pungentness, at least from the smell, that perception, that's not there right now. Uh, because when we went to the store yesterday, how was it? It was slightly... Oh, at the store, of course, you know, <laughs> I'm still in my night suit, but I'm so excited to be doing this with my family. Viewers are aware that we were in Toronto for past one year, not been able to visit home. So finally, we we're cooking a meal together with family. It's, it's such a such a great relief. You adding more chilies? Yeah. I don't mind. Do you mind? Hey, where did you learn this recipe for? Maybe I've from Abu. Maybe from Abu. Yeah, maybe from Abu. My dad is a big, big fan of dried fish. He used to have a lot of Manipuri friends and they would go hunting back in the days. And that's how he learned and he this recipe. very well. Actually. Oh, yeah. He's, he's an excellent cook. I mean, he cooks rarely, but whenever he does. He uh, does just, for us, yeah, right? He used to do, yeah, he used to do it for us, yeah. Bless his soul. Okay, maybe now it's time to go in, right? Okay, I'll help you saute. I'm the sous chef today. Head chef is my sister, who is an excellent, excellent cook. My brother, my mom, my father, now my husband, they all cook really well. Salt again. We add a little bit of salt with the onion and now a little for the potatoes, right? Okay. For the masalas? For the masalas. Quarter teaspoon turmeric. What's next? Red chili powder. This is Kashmiri or regular? No, regular. This is slightly hot. If you folks want to add Kashmiri, then sure. All right, saute, saute, saute. Beautiful. Look at the color. 
that's it just onion uh, just turmeric and red chili yeah that's no cumin nothing. no coriander no, my god that's the beauty of Assamese cooking is see folks no water no water to yeah the potatoes would have some moisture of its own flame would be on medium and you are going to put the lid yeah okay i'm stealing all your recipes <laughs> <laughs> Now we have video proof whose recipe this was. <laughs> <laughs> My family inspires me to cook, so no, no shame in admitting that. <laughs> Keep checking from time to time. Make sure nothing sticks. Going great. Mm, cook. Mm -hmm. So now we'll add the fried Bombay, Bombay duck, duck or duck. fried bamla mass. It reminded me of. The lunch I used to pack for school, with just chapatis, chapatis and, and potatoes. potatoes. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, everything has been done properly. Mm. Mm. It's right? so good. Yeah. yeah. Love it. The chef is checking. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's good. <laughs> That's good. The chef is very humble. <laughs> Alrighty, this is done. Let's check on Ami. Ami is getting ready to cut the banana shoots. <laughs> Ami? Mm. Excited? Excited. <laughs> Look at our skills, man. You won't find anybody doing this anymore in nowadays. And this is paper thin. To kill some mustard oil to hoda smoking hot corn. Smell like it. Smell like Smell like it. Three is enough, right? And then slit. Pass for on. Quarter quarter teaspoon. I am an assistant. One small onion. I don't cooking in my school. Light golden. Light golden. And then, quarter teaspoon turmeric. Oh, as soon as the chilies hit mustard oil, the aroma. This is a guti alu. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's found in a uh, neighboring region like Bangladesh. I'm sure it's available in Nagaland, Manipur, but this is something you won't find in other parts of India. Maybe South India because we have similar climate. It's so good. We'll cook, cook, cook just with turmeric, mustard oil and salt. A little bit of coriander powder. Ground coriander goes in. And Mia has asked me to add salt. I hope I'm doing okay. First five minutes we saute on high flame and then as per my mother's instruction we'll turn it to medium low and let it cook. I think salt is fine. After a couple of minutes of sauteing we're putting the lid on and let this cook right Ami? On medium? Medium. Okay medium. medium. Kol posala Kol. or banana shoot is ready. Look at this how thinly sliced this is. Itu nimok dise. No nimok dise kya khosi. Khose kyo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also drank medicine for high uric acid. And I asked Ami why did she add salt? She's like, that's how my mother used to do it, and then that's how her grandmother used to do. So she just follows the tradition. No questions asked. <laughs> we had two large size banana shoots, and then she sliced them very thinly, and it looked like, like a huge mountain of banana shoots. But now, after adding salt and giving all of this a good massage, everything has shrunk down. Are you going to drink the water or throw? Nimak dada, to pick them. 
so we'll throw it she'll wash it because obviously we bought it from the market it's not like it's from our kitchen garden right throw the water and wash it oh that's why it's turning dark huh because it's rich in iron my mother washes everything three times that's something i also strictly follow up i don't ask why i just follow what she has told me to i don't see it though where is going ammi sunrise all her kadhai is here but i don't see it i see this small one i just see ammi it's not here nahi hai aha but ammi usually sunrise This is again another Assamese tradition to sun dry all your utensils after it's washed. We're going to use this kadai to make kolposala, uh, uh, and Ami is checking on the guti alu. How is it going? I mean, can I call again, sir? It's a nice size. Is it good? Crispy, one abu lai one. Time to time, check for you. Kolposala one abu. For kolposala, we're going to make a paste first. One whole head of. garlic ha guta no horo like a thumb size ginger and green chilies as you please then ek pyaaz ni do ketia ba mon gole di di bol okay water to aid in the blending process so yellow mustard 2 teaspoon and black mustard 1 teaspoon right ami mm. show the texture me sab khoriyo Tablet, you see, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Meat. Hukan meat. Hukan meat. So this is again another traditional Assamese and northeastern whole of Nagaland. You'll find smoked meat, either smoked mutton, smoked chicken, smoked pork, smoked beef, whatever you want. You can keep this throughout the year, stored in the refrigerator. Sometimes they hang it over the firewood stove, but my mum sometimes keeps it in the fridge. This is already cooked, but. but hard right but it's been stored for over almost 6 7 months so we're going to soften it by boiling it boiling it so you can either make the car vegetarian mom is vegetarian but we are going to eat the meat version of it let's keep this aside and ammi is going to make the car now right ha. ta da this is the car where is car car is call car call car this is call car she's made it by extracting the alkaline from dried banana peel this is a very special type of banana peel um it's called bhim kol bhim kol bhim kol is this really fat banana you peel it you sun dry it and you then burn it and then uh pass it through water and the water that you extract is alkaline we use it for our hair for our food it really keeps your body you know in in order extremely extremely beneficial again i don't want to repeat it again but like Assamese food is extremely medicinal in nature, and car is an integral part of our food. My mother is a tea garden owner. Sometimes in the barren land, she uh, she asks people to grow mustard seeds. That's why I was asking her if this is from her garden or this is bought. She said this is store bought. My Toronto car banana. Banana. And my Kai. Baking soda de banana. I call car to na pawn hai. Mo ebe ga bottle ani di ni. घंटा For health benefits, my mum uses Himalayan pink salt. She says, I made a mistake before, but she says we use only table salt for washing fish and vegetables and all that. But for eating purposes, she uses only Himalayan pink salt. Kol pasala bo, ito iron bo utoy panong jar des kung thake. Hmm. Ito ko we blend, we buhay ko na.
This is Amri's secret masala. Meat masala. <laughs> Ami, itu yat kyo dhali se? Yat itu dhali su garam pandi alab dey rakhi ding. Smoke coated dhua tu lagi se. Dhua lagi se kani kolla hoy se. Kolla hua kani itu otora bor kani nola jiti kiu hobo pare. Garam pandi disu alab dey mana ya pani ni pila alab dey rakhi. Five minutes. Take a bite. If it's soft enough, then we won't pressure cook it. Soft dey, no? But this is properly cooked. Just to soften it, we are doing it. Let me take another bite. This is so good. Again, if the meat was soft, we would not have done it. And because she washed it a couple of times, the salt is salt has gone. So she has added a little bit of salt. खाबेंड <laughs> पसला <laughs> Another five ten minutes. Pani dim ni? Ola pani. Cooker dilo hum kal ha. Hum kal ha. Cooker. Cooker dia ti ya. Dia soft baru ni kaya hit mana ni buat tu desi bawa ni. Hmm. Kau ni aman ni buat sebab dia ya ti buat ni. Hmm. While the car is cooking, we are in my niece's bedroom to enjoy her wonderful performance. My name is Arisha, and today I'm going to perform a song. Here I begin. मदार डान <laughs> 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 Mom wants me to send this to our cousin's house. It's part of our tradition. Whenever we're cooking something nice, we send food to our relatives or neighbors, whoever is close by. This is ready to be parceled to my cousin's house. Kutiyalo is here. I already have a recipe for alu pitika. You cannot have car without alu pitika. बहुत 
Alu pitika ready. Ah, alu pitika ready. Tada! Corn pasala car with smoked meat. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Everything is on the table. Can't wait to devour this wonderful, wonderful food cooked by my beloved mother, my sister, and some wonderful performance by Arisha. Let's serve this food. Piping hot rice. Me is vegetarian, so she's taking the vegetarian version of car. This is sinful. Bamla mas, a little bit, and then you cannot have car without alu pitika. It's time to eat. I'm going to take some rice and the Bombay duck because it's dry, right? Hmm, so good. Homemade food is the best food. And this is made with love by my sister. Love it. Let's try the car. Little bit of smoked meat. Rice and always alu pitika. When you eat car, there has to be alu pitika. Make a nice ball. Hmm. So good. You can't ignore the guti alu, the tiny, tiny, tiny baby potatoes. Mmm. This is heaven. I'm so happy to be home and sharing this meat with you guys. What are you going to eat first? Mm, I'm going to eat this first. Bombay duck. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's like Abu would have loved it. I think this is inspired by Abu's recipe. One thing I forgot to mention: Bombay dried Bombay duck is a is a treatment for uh, for malaria. malaria. So people, like I said, when Abu would go hunting back in the days, his friends would cook this so that you know, they don't get infected by malaria. What a beautiful meal, right? This was such an intimate video for us. This was long time coming. We were planning to make vlogs, but because of pandemic or whatever reason, things were delayed. But this is what a, what a beautiful, auspicious occasion to start our first vlog from home with two women who have, who have inspired me to cook with my heart. It was a lovely experience. I hope you guys liked this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I hope you all like our traditional food. If you like it, please do subscribe, like and comment and do share.